I want to tell you why I think you have to go to university to become a photographer. And it's probably not what you're thinking, so stay with me here. And also in the comments below, I would love to know if you are a photographer with a degree. Not necessarily photography, but if you have a degree, let me know. And if you don't have a degree, let me know. And I'd like to know why you didn't choose to do that, because I like I like to know what's going on in the world. And I like to know why people make the choices they do. I find it fascinating. Let me know. I will read them all. Now, I obviously have a degree, which is part of the reason why I think you should have one. Obviously, this is a very biased video, um, but there we go. I have a degree. I'm in the UK. Student loans are not like they are in the States. Let's just get that out there straight away. Um, I've paid off my postgraduate student loans and most of my undergraduate student loans, um, and I currently pay them off in a way that it's barely noticeable, but it's going away. Um, but I have a degree, master's, diploma, postgrad certificates, like that. I've got a few different bits and pieces. Um, various qualifications and they are irrelevant in themselves no one's ever asked to see my degree certificate I don't actually know where they are I didn't go to any of my graduations because I was already doing the next thing and it was going to be time out of my schedule I studied sciences health sciences uh, physiology sports related sciences that sort of thing um, has nothing to do with my career path at all anymore but it did do some brilliant things for me when I was 18 which is when I went to university um, actually, I went when I was 19 because I, I got expelled from one school and uh, fell behind a bit. But when I got there, I'd, I'd got my straight A's. I'd gone to the university I wanted to go to. I could go to any university I wanted. I chose the one I wanted to go to, and it was in Cardiff, which was as far away that I could find a good university from where I lived. I live in Leicester, which is where I am again now. Um, and we grew up in a, a relatively poor area, and, you know, Dad worked in a factory, Mum stayed at home. Um, that was our setup at home. I didn't have a particularly worldly view. I had, at the time, a nice girlfriend who was of a very different class to me, so that was quite useful in hindsight and learning things that I didn't know about. <laughs> Etiquettes, manners, all that sort of good stuff. Um, but generally speaking, I had a very small world. If I'd have left to become a photographer, now I didn't even know about photography about them, but if I had, at that age, I'd have failed. Absolutely 100% failed. I didn't know how to learn properly, or at least at any speed or haste or pace. I didn't know how to behave properly. I didn't know how to run a business. I didn't understand how to be liked in a bit. I didn't understand anything, which is fine. That's how you're supposed to be at 18. Off I went to university, made all the mistakes a young lad should make, had all the parties a young lad should make, and I learned how to learn. Met some great people, some great academics I'm still in touch with today. Um, and some of my friends I met there have, have gone on to do really great things in science. Um, really great things. Like some of them, three of them that I know, um, are top of their field and work for top universities around the world. And their papers are groundbreaking studies that do great things, which I'm very proud of for them. Wasn't for me, though. Anyway, went off, got a job for a year, came back, so I'd saved up. I did my master's. Um, so there it is, did my master's. At this point, I'm 24, 25. At this age, compared to 18, I still hadn't started my career. That's a seven year gap. So seven years had passed and I still hadn't started. Now, if I'd have begun my career at 18, within seven years, the following would have happened. No one would have taken me seriously. I wouldn't have had the right work ethic. I wouldn't have been able to make the sacrifice I needed to make. I probably wouldn't have been able to afford to move out of home straight away. And I definitely wouldn't have been able to learn quick enough and the right things to make a good career. Seven years down the line, it wouldn't have worked out. I'd have quit and I'd have gone and got a job in a factory, um, which was the initial plan. I believe my parents had a job lined up for me in my dad's factory. When I say my dad's factory, he just worked on the, on the conveyor belt. It'd be doing the same thing. That's where I'd have ended up. But I didn't. I went to university. And by the time I started, so at this seven-year thing, seven-year photographer left at 18, failed, given in. I'm just starting. I'm taking a bit more seriously because I've got a, I've got a bit of five o'clock shadow going on. I'm taking a bit more seriously because I've got a degree and a master's. I'm taking a bit more seriously because I look older. Now, I was still very young. When I did my first few big campaigns, I was the youngest person in the room by a decade, including assistants and the lot. Um, when I went for one particular meeting down in London, I was asked to go and get coffee for everybody because the creative director thought I was an intern at the agency. And when I got back with everyone's coffees, he realised the mistake he made, egg on everyone's face, and he'd asked the photographer to go and make coffee for everybody whilst the actual intern sat there looking very sheepish. Um, 
And, you know, that's, but if I was coming at 18, well, I wouldn't even got in the door at 18. You know, so there was a lot of situations like that when I was very young and I was treated as such at 25. Um, but I knew how to learn quickly. I said yes to every single job, even if I didn't know how to do it, because I knew that I could work out how to learn to do it. And that's important. I just said yes to everything and it was all fine. I had the confidence that university gave me because university is like, it's like kindergarten or, you know, play school in the UK. Your first year doesn't count towards anything of your grade. All you need to do in your first year is not wet the bed, make sure you turn up to lectures, feed yourself and don't go broke. That's it. And that is a great life lesson. The first year of university, I feel everyone in the country should get that one year because that is so useful. And you you know, you spend a lot of money on it, but like it's a safe place to make stupid mistakes. You know, one of my friends lost all of his student loan in a casino. You can't do that as an adult, but at university you can and someone will pick up the pieces. It's a great introduction. So you might be, oh, well, you should just go out there and just get on with it. It's like, no, no, enjoy your life. You know, have a good time. During my master's, I really learned how to learn. I learned how to learn so quickly. I could devour a library in minutes. And this is a dyslexic. So I know exactly what to read, what not to read, where to find it, where to put it back. Well, that stuff matters. Today, if I get a job, and I need to know how to do something. I'm pretty confident within 20 minutes, I can learn anything in photography. And, you know, that might sound very arrogant, but, but it, it seems to hold true so far. And I'm sure there'll be the exception to the rule where it takes me days to learn how to do it. But generally speaking, 20 minutes, I can do anything. Um, give me give me the old the Google and I'm good to go. So here we are, 25, seven years later, 32. 32, I shot, I'd already shot four or five worldwide campaigns. Whereas at 24, 25, if I'd left at 18, I'd be shooting the local event scene at 50 quid a night feeling abused and battered and everyone looking down on me as some sort of like scummy kid from the estate. That, that's the difference. And it's wrong. It's not okay. But it is life. And that is how it is. And there's all it's all great. And well, that shouldn't be, that's not fair. That's not right. You know, the fact that I had to pay for elocution lessons to sound less chav, you know, that's not okay. But that is life. And you have to roll with the punches. You have to take whatever cards you've been dealt and go, right, this isn't going to work for me like this. I need to pivot. I need to change. I need to adapt. And I need to work out a way to make this work. So my advice to you is if you're 18 and you don't know what to do and you might want to be a photographer, go and do a degree. Just go and do one. Be a photographer on the side. You can still be a photographer doing a degree. A degree takes up so little of your time. And when I remember when I was at university going, oh, I'm so busy. I had no idea how busy you could be. Um, it's great. It's a brilliant time. It is one of the best times of my life. It wasn't all perfect. There were ups, there were downs and all the rest of it, but that's part of life. And that is, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would not change a thing. I would go back to university and be the exact twat that I was because it's better to do it then than it is to do it now. So what if you're 40 years old and you didn't go to university? Well, there's a few things to think of here. One is you've already gone through the process of growing up. You're fine. You don't need that. There's no point in doing a degree now. It's not going to add anything to you. In terms of learning, you've probably learned as much by this point. You don't need that accelerated learning because you probably already know what you need to know. But the advice here is mostly for young people and it is to get that degree. I, you know, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, but do it with as little debt as possible. Do a part-time job throughout. Find ways to make it affordable. I wouldn't advise living at home with your parents during your degree because you'll miss out on all the naughtiness. But do give it a go. Give it a shot. Give yourself that time to grow. Choose a subject you're interested in. Don't worry about what it is. Like No, no one cares what your degree is once you've had your first few jobs. You know, No one's ever asked for my degree certificate and I've had some pretty serious jobs in the real world before doing this so go and enjoy yourself develop grow and then start working hard when you're older I don't think we can work from 18 onwards at like the speed that I work at. if I'd have started at that age I'd be broken by now I'd like there's no way that I would be where I am today if I hadn't have gone to university and it has very little to do with a degree but a lot to do with time a lot to do with self-development and a lot to do with learning how to learn Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below because this is just my opinion. This is how I feel. Obviously, I didn't take that other path, so I can't comment on it. So if you did, let me know. Let me know how it worked out. Let me know what was good, what was bad. I read all the comments. 
I don't always reply, but I do hear that little thing where you can see my face pop up. So you know that I read it. That's how I check things off to say, yep, read that, read that, read that, and so on and so forth. Love reading them. Do pop them down below. See you all soon. Bye-bye.